I saw her as she passed the window. I saw her, but she didn't see me. All right, well, welcome back again, folks, to The House That Never Sleeps. My name's Randy, and I figured we're going to have a quick clip tip video. Good time to try to say that ten times fast. Time, cheat. Say it five times fast. Maybe say it one time slow. Quick clip tips. That's what this video is. Uh, about storing your guitar. Not really long term. Well, yeah, I guess long term storage, too. But, you know, if you don't play your guitar every day at least you know several times a week if you don't do it then you should do these steps I'm about to tell you to store your guitar be it electric or acoustic some of that varies a little bit depending on if it's an electric or acoustic but first thing you ought to do if you're not going to play it every day you're going to store it in the case more than it is out you should drop the tuning down one whole step a whole step down that takes the stress off the neck, the neck joint. You should do it on electric guitars too. I got the D28 here that's been in storage. I got to reset the neck on it. It's dropped down. I don't think that's a whole step. Yeah, it might be. Anyways, drop them down. You don't have to adjust the truss rod. People on Facebook say, yeah, you ought to loosen the truss rod a little bit. I wouldn't do it. That truss rod and neck and guitar expects some stress there. You know, that's why I say drop it one step and leave it you know leave that much stress stress at least on it you won't have the whole 180 pounds of acoustic pulling back here on your bridge you know you're kind of easing off of it letting that thing kind of relax yet you still got stress there too uh clean it up put it away don't put it in the case filthy dirty get some good polish and go over that entire guitar body if it's got uh, a lot of hardware metal hardware on it you know, clean all that up nice. Get all the fingerprints, all the skin oil, and everything off of the guitar. And make sure it's really clean. And uh, make sure your case is clean, too. I'm sorry. I get some cases in here, man. Wow. I open them up, pull the guitar out, and I'm kind of afraid of what might else jump out of there at me. I can't believe people uh, leave their cases like that. Anyway, it's their business, I guess. Anyways, uh, what else? I got notes here, because I can't remember too good. You all know about that. Uh, make sure the guitar is properly humidified. 45 to 55%. If it's an acoustic guitar, take one of these, stick it down in the sound hole, and cover the sound hole with something that will not absorb moisture. Leave that about 48 hours. Come back and read it, and you'll know what the moisture... You get a good idea what the moisture content in the wood of that guitar is. If it's an electric guitar, Put one of these in the case with it. Shut the case up and leave it in there 48 hours or even longer than that. And, uh, you know, make sure your guitar is between, make sure that stays between 45 and 55 percent when you put it in your case. And when you put it in your case, put a uh, humidifier, I don't have one right here handy, in the case with the guitar. Even if it's up to par and it's, you know, it's where it should be, the guitar. Still put a humidifier in your case. You can take these little soap boxes, cut notches in them, you know, and then put a damp cloth in that and throw it in the case somewhere with the guitar. You can take, uh, I use little tiny freezer bags. Cut them up and put like a kitchen sponge in there. You get it soaking wet, wring it out, put it in a bag, ziplock it, and lay that. There are two or three of those in the case. I've got them in my cases, every one of them. <laughs> uh, you know, you can make them, or you can buy them too. I don't recommend these ones that they have some kind of bags and chemicals in it. If you all remember that, uh, oh, what was that I worked on? One of them exploded inside of it. I can't think what the instrument's called. It had eight strings on it. I'm sure Scott's going to remind me in the comments. Can't think what it's called. Citern, I think it was. So I don't recommend those kind of uh, humidifiers that have any kind of, of uh, whatever that shit is they put in there. Uh, but do make sure your guitar is properly humidified. If you, and on all this goes, I'm, like I'm saying, if you put it in a case and sit in there for a month, you should do this stuff before you put it in there, of course. Put humidifiers in the case. Store your guitar in the case at a 
temperature that's comfortable to you. If you're too cold, your guitar's probably too cold. If you're hot and humid and sweaty, your guitar's not going to like that either. So try to store it in an environment that is comfortable to you. And your guitar will be very happy and it'll thank you for it. Uh, check it once a month. You should look in on it. Check your humidifier, the one you either have in the, in the hole or in the case with your guitar or in the hole in the case with the guitar. Or if you have more than one, check this thing once per month. I've got one here, it's called Taylor. I've showed you all that one before. It had an in, indoor-outdoor thermometer. I clipped that off because I didn't use it. I might no, this one didn't have that. But I like this one better. What is it? It's a AccuRite. You can get those for next to nothing, man. Those little AccuRites and the Taylors. And they, you know, they work fine. They, they might not be 100% dead on, but they work fine <laughs> for this. All right, that's the quick clip tips. There's more, I know. I just jotted these down before making this video because I know I wouldn't be able to think I shit when I got the camera rolling. It's always like that. So there's your quick clip tip for you. Go over it again quick. Loosen the strings down one whole step. Uh, you don't need to adjust the truss rod, loosen it or tighten it, it'll leave the truss rod alone. And when you tighten your strings back up, chances are your neck relief is going to be okay and string action. Clean the guitar good before you put it away. Make sure it's humidified and put the humidifiers in the case with the guitar. Make sure it's humidified before you put it in there though. Store at a uh, comfortable temperature that you're comfortable with. And don't forget to look in on your dear friend once or twice a month anyways. And, you know, just check things out. Make sure the top's not cracked. I've seen finishes in guitar. Well, in fact, I've got a Martin. The finish is just shattered on it. And it's a high dollar guitar, too. It's a Dan Tominski HD28. And uh, this is where I carried it around and played it and abused it, you know. That's what happened. Made it do that. Well, I let it dry out one time, too, and we just played it. I didn't know it <laughs> it was too late. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to mention again, I, there's no way I can reply to all the emails and PMs I get. It's getting even harder to reply to the comments on the videos. But keep them coming. I do. I love getting them. I love you guys. And I like hearing about whatever you got to say. So do keep them coming. And I will reply to them as I can, uh, you know, when I have time. Uh, we got a contest, guitar giveaway contest, going to be ending here soon. In fact, it might be over by the time you see this video on YouTube. I don't know. But it's coming up here pretty soon, and we're going to start a new contest pretty quick after that, shortly after it. If you want me to work on your guitar, I've got a few openings now because of the holidays, I guess. Because I hardly ever have any openings. But, well, they, someone cancels now and then. And that makes an opening for someone else. But I have a few right now, a couple. And, uh, in fact, the way it's worked out, I've had two openings since, I think, like November last year. And still have two openings. It's, I've always had two openings right through the holidays. Anyways, if you want me to work on your guitar, set it up or do whatever, send me a PM on Facebook or send me an email. You can find my email address on the About tab on this channel and put guitar repair in the subject. If you send it on Facebook, I don't know if they have a subject line on there or not, but if, if not, put guitar repair the very first words you say. Because I'll never see it, man. If you don't put, I, I'll look for that, you know, every time I get on there looking at stuff. And uh, if, I, if you don't put that in there, I mean, it might be a while before I see your message. Ew, Lord, it's taken me a long time to get through some of them. But I love them, man. I love you guys. I'm gonna, You keep sending them. Bury me in them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that the tips helped. Cheers. If I can talk, I'll see you next time. I saw her ass. She passed the window. I saw her butt. me I saw her as she passed the window
Are we off?